righteous band is beset on all sides by the iniquities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil bands. Blessed is the band who in the name of righteousness and goodwill shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness. For they are truly their brother's keeper and the finder of lost musicians. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know the band's name is Who in the Bluffers? From a chicken wing joint called Pappy's in Columbia, South Carolina, to chart-topping, Grammy-winning, sold-out national tours, Hooting the Blowfish has been making musical memories for nearly three decades. Since 1995, they have hosted the Monday After the Masters Celebrity Pro-Am Golf Tournament, one of the most popular pro-ams in the country. MAM, as it's sometimes called, attracts thousands of visitors to a weekend full of food, fanaticism, funniness and fun. That's how you do it. Every April, stars from music, television, film, and sports travel to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina to play a full round of friendly competition at the Barefoot Die Course. With impromptu musical numbers, comedic stand-up, and an interactive audience, there is never a dull moment during the MAM weekend. Such an amazing weekend of fun. And now, with the celebrities, it's, it's become like a reunion. Thanks to the distinguished success of the Monday After the Masters, Mark, Dean, Darius, and Sony established the Hootie and the Blowfish Foundation, with MAM remaining its largest contributor. To give back to any uh, needy cause in our community has uh, been a part of Hootie and the Blowfish since we really got together. At the top of those efforts was the foundation's focus on the public education issues of South Carolina, the state where it all started for them. Their aim is to support the ongoing fight to even the playing field in educational funding and lend an encouraging hand to all those in need. Really it was exciting to see our musical talent and our songs and our small crowd we had, uh, that they could be used as a vehicle to raise awareness and money. That was exciting even when we weren't making any money. Further, the Hootie Foundation has established an endowment fund with the Central Carolina Community Foundation to create an opportunity for grants to benefit charities now and well into the future. We've been able to focus on, on areas of need and decide you know, where we think we can do the most good with the funds that come in from Monday After the Masters. And so every year we get to sit down and look at options and say this is where we can help the most. We have the most direct assistance to something and that feels good. In addition to the foundation's efforts, the band has embarked on several homegrown concert tours where ticket holders to all shows are encouraged to bring school supplies that are redistributed back to the community schools. We get haircuts and and dental exams and eye exams and stuff, you know, we're getting to do all that stuff. And it's, it's just really, it's cool to see. Every time we go down there and we walk around, I, I, it just feels so good to be helping the community that way because there's so many people a lot less fortunate than we are. Avid golfers themselves, the band also benefits the South Carolina Junior Golf Foundation, an organization dedicated to enlightening our youth on the honor, sportsmanship, and character of the game of golf. South Carolina Junior Golf uh, are the ones that actually came up with the idea for Monday After the Masters, and, and they came to us and asked us to be involved, and, uh, and we were glad to, and we've been able to help take it to a new level, but we've always kept them involved with it, and it's really paid off because South Carolina Junior Golf has as many or more tour players than maybe any other state in, in the country that has junior golf. And so um, it's, it's, it's worked out to be a great thing and I think it's given kids that wouldn't know about golf otherwise the opportunity and chance to, uh, to learn the game, learn something about the game. And so they do a great job. Other philanthropic efforts include hosting an annual college golf tournament each spring, Habitat for Humanity, as well as several individual charitable organizations that each band member is involved with personally.
Now in its 21st edition, MAM and its founding fathers are reaching new heights. Since Hootie and the Blowfish's philanthropic journey began, South Carolina's graduation rate has risen 26.5%, 7% more than the national average. To date, more than 150,000 children have benefited from the South Carolina Junior Golf Association, in addition to the $1 million donated in scholarship funds. Upwards of 5,000 children have received necessary school supplies and other aid. The band has funded over $2 million in grant requests, and their endowment has now reached an astonishing $3 million, which can officially provide residual charitable benefits for the indefinite future. In just two decades of existence, the Monday After the Masters Celebrity Pro-Am Golf Tournament has raised more than $6 million. That is a number to be applauded, and that is a number that defines change. Every day.